The Ministry of Energy and Mineral Development now says using competitive bidding through the new mining law will eliminate speculators in the sector. This new bill will also introduce a system which is identical to the one of petroleum, which is competitive bidding. So we are going to identify these areas where we already have mineral commodities, where we know the quantities of minerals that we have. Those are not going to be licensed like that. We are going to block them from this system and we do what they call competitive bidding. So essentially we are going to invite companies to bid. And then, we, of course, the one with the biggest proposal takes it up. Lawmakers, artisanal miners and the civil society today engaged in a discourse reviewing the 2018 minerals and mining policy. And even soon you will be, I think, exploiting phosphates in the Bududa. There are lots of deposits uh, we are reliably informed. Umukuka hardly gets that, but other kings are given uh, uh, shares. Uh, actually, they, they are favored more than others. This new thing which is coming to parliament, have you catered for the one inch? If not, whether it has passed in the cabinet, make sure at parliament, there are cases which are not even allowed to be read. There have been concerns that Atsano miners, mostly Ugandans, continue to face compliance issues even when foreigners are speculatively holding permits. For instance, I know that the Busia miners got, got uh, licenses and you know they are operating fully and well. But for instance, uh, the SMs in Mubende, it's been very hard for them to get uh, licenses and I wonder a license, I wonder why. The proposed mining act still yet to be debated and passed will address zoning for prospecting, exploration and mining among others. For all the big multinationals you're going to license, around them, gazette an area of at least a square kilometer for ASM. Reina Ojon, NTV Business.